Yes. Thank you very much. Our group consists of mass students, public governance, following in the course public strategy. And today we're going to put theory into practice. This means we do not focus on the interests of the students nor on the teachers. We are going to focus on the interests of Tilburg University as a whole. And after doing so, it turns out that those two little kids are really good strategists. And just in five minutes, we'll tell you why. But first, we can discuss two environments where Tilburg University lives in. First, the transactional environment. This is the environment that you can influence as an institution. But moreover, Tilburg University lives also in a contextual environment. This environment you cannot influence as an institution, so you have to adapt to this environment. And you can identify several trends, and we already did so. Um, Darwin already argued, it's not the strongest species that survives, nor, nor the most intelligent, but the one that's most responsive to change. But then the question is, to change to what? Together with my teammates, we identified around 25 trends that will affect Tilburg University in the nearby future. We have looked well which trends will have the most impact and which trend, trends are the highest uncertain, and we ended with two trends. And we, are, we do, not, do not know how the future will look like in 2025, but we can identify four scenarios based on those two trends. Next week, we have elections, so we do not know what the next government will do, and we have elections after that. But also, we don't know what the role of digitalization will be in 2025. It can either be as a supplement, but it also can replace the current infrastructure. And if, if, if the first scenario can look like an American model, it's highly competitive, tuition fees will rise, um, accessibility will become a problem, but on the other hand, it can also be Open University in 2025. Uh, digitalization replaced current infrastructure, and but it's primarily government fun funded. And the idea behind scenario analysis is that if you focus on two opposite scenarios, and you can survive both scenarios, your strategy plan can survive both scenarios, then you're already good prepared for the future. So now we're going to zoom in on two scenarios, the MOOC market and the back to basic model. Firstly, the MOOC market. Uh, it's, it's primarily market-led, uh, digitalization ke keeps kept rising, and how will university look like? Well, it's quite empty. Students follow their courses behind the desktop, behind the laptop, and it's primarily eye learning in its future. And what will teach teaching look like? Well, teaching will look like in like in, in a record studio where you record your lectures, and it was all this also mean that it requires different skills from the teachers. And in terms of funding, well, it's primarily private funding, so private and public partnerships will occur even more. And then the back to basics model. It's primarily government funded in this model. Um, and the government will tighten their control in terms of more strict regulation. So what does this mean in terms of strategic implications to survive both scenarios in the future? Well, it becomes clear that digitalization will play a very important role in the future, but you do, do not know to what extent. So you have to invest in digital infrastructure, at least, but also you have to invest in, uh, in training of the current employees of Tilburg University so that they are, they are prepared for a very digital environment. And we also need to experiment with MOOCs, for instance. And then in terms of, of growth. The board provided, provided us with some dimensions about autonomous growth and disruptive growth. But we argue that well, it should grow in both, both ways. The current market share is not enough to compete against Utrecht University, Rijksuniversiteit Groningen. So we, we need to grow in the number of students to be prepared for a highly competitive market. But also in terms of, uh, in terms of partnerships, you need to prepare yourself. You already have to identify which partnerships can we use in the nearby future, both private but also in public partnerships to collaborate with other universities. And you have to distinguish yourself. You have to be. You need more specialization if you want to prepare for a highly competitive market. So generalization will not survive the future. Not the back. Maybe it will survive the back to basic model, but it won't. Never it will never survive a MOOC market or an American model. And lastly, there's some coordination needed. 
but you also need to be aware that bottom-up initiatives uh, will be the future. The MOOCs need to be developed by the teaching themselves, so there should be room for bottom-up initiatives, for bottom-up entrepreneurship, but coordination is needed to become an adaptive institution. And then the question remains, why are, are those two kids really good strategists? Well, they saw a highly uncertain future and they prepared themselves by buying rain suits. And Tilburg University have to, has to do the same. It's a quite a certain future and they have to prepare themselves. And there are no such thing as bad scenarios, but only pr bad preparation. Thank you very much. In the last scene before the break. Scene six.